Okay, yeah, so this is my second intro that I'm filming. Uh, the other one, I just sounded like crazy. Um, this is a cream contouring routine featuring my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit. This is awesome. And I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you do. So the first thing you're going to want to do as you start with anything on your face is prime. So I'm going to be using my Benefit Professional Primer. Next you're going to want to apply a foundation so there is one base for everything. Um, I'm going to apply my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in... Hmm, what color is this? Light medium sand. And I just dot this all over my face. Cut a little bit down my neck so I can blend. Now before I blend all of this foundation in, what I want to do is color correct. Now I'm using my Becca under eye brightening corrector for my purple under eyes now I definitely need a mirror <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply it usually I would wait to apply my bottom lash line um, with eyeshadow but you know I kinda just wanted to finish my eyes and show you guys the face so I am applying this brightening corrector and as you can see it is very brightening and I have really been enjoying it. So I kind of apply that and then I blend my foundation in with that. So, oof, getting it all over. Alright, and so I'm just going to take a flat top kabuki brush and this one is from BH Cosmetics. And I am going to just blend my foundation into my skin, cover up some of my freckles, you know, kind of blend it into that brightening corrector. Now that all of that is blended into the skin, we are going to start with highlighting. Now, I have been mixing two concealers to highlight. Better Skin I use to kind of cover up the corrector because you never want to use a corrector alone. So I have kind of just been applying that like that. And I am getting tanner so this is starting to get a little lighter than my skin tone. But I also go in between the brows and right on the chin, just a little on the chin. And then I go in, this is my better skin, and then I go in with my naked skin. And this is in Light Warm, and it, I don't know if you've ever seen it in the store, but Light Warm is super light. And it was fine for me when I was pretty pale, but now I kind of just dot it right over better skin. And I like to take the lightest one and go down the center of my nose. And a little bit on my cube as well. And that's where I keep that. And I kind of keep that just sitting there while I also go in with my contouring products. Now, some people use one dark color to contour. And I actually find that using two different colors looks so much more natural because, as you know, there's bronzer and there's contours. Like, for powder products and same with cream products there are ones that are super cool tone like I'm gonna put one on my face and then the other one and the one is gonna look gray and that is because that's what you contour with you mimic the shadow with and then on top of that you bronze so you don't look like a scary person so I am going in with my LA girl pro conceal in a espresso now this like for some reason sometimes it like squirts out stuff so like let me just Alright, so I kind of take this above, right, it's not working, I take this above where my natural contour 
where my natural cheekbone is. And that's because you like to bronze above. I don't know how much I can stress that. Some people like contour with this color only and it just does not look natural because you're supposed to mimic that shadow. Now I'm going around the forehead, I'm gonna go kinda on the side of the nose, but not right next to that um, light part, and I'm going under the lip and down the jawline. Okay. Looks a little crazy, I know. But we're going to look even more crazy because now we're going to go in with the cool tone. Now this is the Anastasia Cream Kit, Cream Contour Kit in Fair. And I got Fair. I'm not, I'm not fair. I'm not, like these colors are way too light for me. But the contour shades are perfection. They are the perfect cool tone to go right under that bronze. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to take... A foundation brush that looks like this anyone will work and I'm gonna take this color right here as you can see it looks almost gray it's the most cool tone one and that is the one that I love and I'm just gonna go right under and as you can see how cool tone does literally looks like I'm putting gray on my face compared to the other color even though it's not that gray so I am continuing around my face and then we are going to make sure we concentrate this right here. Make our jaw look really defined and really good. So doing that and then we're going to go down the sides of the nose with this color. So we look pretty crazy, I know. So obviously we need to blend this all out. I am taking another BH Cosmetics brush. It is a small flat top brush. And that is what I'm going to use to get this concealer on track. So I am just blending this into the skin. So I'm doing that all the way around my face all the concealer around my face. Now, after we blended out all that light concealer, I am going to use this same brush to blend on my nose. Now, it also has some concealer still on it, which is fine because it's going to blend the colors together and give you more of a natural contour on your nose. Um, so, that's all we're using for this brush. Now, I'm going in with an angled flat top brush. This is another one from BH Cosmetics. I got them all in a set and they work perfect for cream. And um, first I'm going to start with this orangey shade and I'm just going to start blending that up. Just start blending that up. Now as you can see it just gives you a nice bronzy glow. And now I'm going to blend the other shade into that one. So it looks like this shade is your cheekbone while the other one is just bronzed on your face. So that's how that looks. And gotta remember, I, sometimes I forget that I have this on my neck. I'll like go to the bathroom and be like, oh my god, what if I walked out like that? So do not forget that. And we're just gonna do the Forehead, I kind of just mix them all together and blend. Just make sure you don't have any of those lines left. And just blend it into that skin. So as you can see, that's what that looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. Much different. And don't forget to blend out that neck. People think you can just leave it at cream contour and not do anything. No, please do not do that. You have to set everything with powder. And you can just set it all with a translucent powder if this is the intensity that you want. Me, on the other hand, I like to go in and do it all. So, 
first you want to even out all this stuff on your face. So I'm going to go in with my Bare Skin Perfecting Veil in Medium. Now this is just basically a tinted, it is a tinted setting powder. It's not too heavy and I'm kind of setting everything but where the concealer was. And this is going to make the powders that go on top blend so much easier. That is that. Now I am going to set my under eyes and I am setting it with Kat Von D's contour kit and I'm mixing the latest two shades. I find that the yellow shade is a little too yellow for me but I like the brightening effect that yellow gives because yellow does give a brightening effect under your eyes. So kind of setting that lightly do not pack it on and we are just going to go in with a little bit of contour um, I'm using the My Sculpted Face by It Cosmetics it's super good um, super good uh, but it's good and I'm using this dark color which is looks super intense but as long as you have a light hand, you'll be fine. And I'm kind of just going over where I went over that, where I went with that super cool tone color. So I'm kind of setting the cool tone color here. And I am also taking a little bit right at the top of my forehead. And I am continuing to contour my nose. We are also going to do our jawline. That's what that's looking like. Now we are going to just take a little bit of the bronzer in here, just right there, just a little bit, and go over the bronzier shade we used before. We're kind of just using similar colors just to set everything. And it's going to make everything slightly more intense, which is fine with me because, like, I just love makeup. But if you don't like wearing a lot of makeup, just set all this with a translucent powder and you're good. I'm going to also put a little bit of blush on. Um, I think that this coral color right here is really going to complement my eyes. This is a Makeup Forever. This was their 50 Shades of Grey palette. They have it at, like, TJ Maxx and stuff for cheap which is why I got it super pretty and I'm just going to take a little brush lightly dip it in there and kind of give myself a little bit of color okay so now it's time for there's two more steps cream highlight okay three more steps three more steps there's cream highlight which is optional it's only if you want your highlights to be like super intense with which I like and there's powder highlight and then we're just going to set our face with fix plus and then we're done so I am going to use benefits high beam now, this literally when you open it it looks like nail polish which is so strange but like this is what it looks like, and I literally just take it straight to the face, right on my cheekbone, right kind of down my, like, around my eyebrow, and then down the nose, and on the cupid's, and on the cupid's bow. And then I need to blend this out. Now I find that this blends out really easily. So I am just going to take my finger, dab it, and start blending it out from there. Now for some people, this highlight is beautiful. And it is. And that's enough for them. So if that's enough highlight for you, leave it at that and spray your face with Fix Plus. If not, we got another step. Okay, now that all that is blended out, we are going to go in with powder highlight. Now this is limited edition, so you cannot get this. 
But a very similar highlight is Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. This is Max Oh Darling. <laughs> I just have to use it in one video just because it's so beautiful but I'm gonna take my elf tapered brush and I'm just gonna go over high beam and it's just gonna give it this gold tint to the highlight and it's gonna look beautiful okay that's it and now we are going to spray our face with Bix Plus Look that. Soak in. Hey guys, so this is the finished contour routine. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think that this one honestly came out better than my powder contour routine. And you can always just take out all that crazy tribal looking stuff. And just use the powders and use this tutorial whatever you want um hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys